Well, hello there, good people. I'm Jason with Green Country Agroforestry. I'm coming to you tonight from the living room in front of my uh, homemade grow tent here where we're growing some sweet peppers in the middle of the winter. And I wanted to talk to you just a little bit about the Wednesday live stream format. You see, I started out with the idea of having sort of a garden variety show with a more or less eh, format of coming in and talking about plants and then gear and maybe some personal experiences with gardening and what's going on in the overall gardening community. And the idea was to have some people that would come on and participate in the show with me because it's a lot easier to talk to somebody about what they're doing than it is to just produce that information spontaneously off the top of your head. If somebody's asking you questions, you can respond to the question, right? It's a lot easier than trying to formulate the entire program yourself. I thought this would be helpful to the community as a whole, but the community as a whole, although many of you have joined and watched, a lot of you have not come on and participated. So I'm going to make a shift away from that format for the moment, just for the moment. We'll come back and visit it later, perhaps, whenever more people are interested in actually participating in the show. But for the moment, we're going to go ahead and make a switch where I will talk about plant profiles. This will be beginning this coming Wednesday. I'm going to start with USDA Zone 7, which is where I live, while well, I live in 7A. And it's an area that I'm very familiar with. And we're going to be talking about perennial profiles, particularly in the context of agroforestry and permaculture. And I know this probably on the front end sounds like a very dry, boring topic, but let's think about this. Imagine a garden where you plant your plants once and then you tend them for the rest of your life. And they produce for you for the rest of your life. And you don't have to go out there and struggle year after year after year with breaking ground, planting seeds, hoping they germinate, and hoping you get a harvest. No, no, no. In permaculture, in agroforestry, you plant your, your plants once, and then you tend them, and they take care of you for the rest of your life. And that is exactly what we're talking about here. If that's the sort of thing that interests you, I invite you to join me on Wednesday night at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. We're going to do a deep dive into USDA Zone 7 perennials, and we're not going to cover them all. We're not even going to cover the most edible of the perennials in USDA Zone 7 that you can plant and you can have it grow and produce for you for your lifetime with a minimal amount of effort. Your part. All right, let me be clear. This is not set it and forget it gardening, but it is as close to set it and forget it gardening as you or I or anyone is ever going to find. So uh, I'm going to need some help. If one of the members of the community maybe would like to come on with me and keep track of the live chat and relay to me by talking to me what's going on in live chat so I can keep up with questions that people may have so we can explore these topics together, I would greatly appreciate it. Otherwise, I'll, I'll find some way to muddle through, one way or the other. In any case, if you're interested in this sort of thing, you know what to do, and I will catch you next time.